Hi, I'm Mike Butler. I'm Mike Field. And you're watching Now Renting with Forgotten Cinema. Today, we're talking about Promising Young Woman. Mike, what's it about? Promising Young Woman tells the story of the life of Cassie Thomas and what it appears to be. She's wickedly smart, tantalizingly cunning, and she's living a secret double life by night. Now, an unexpected encounter is about to give Cassie a chance to right the wrongs from the past. Okay, so you know what we like to do? We like to do our three things. The three things why we what we liked about the movie that maybe would help you you know, click that button to watch it tonight. Mike, what's your first thing? Well, the first thing to uh, kind of get us out of that dark funk that was that. Well, the movie is not the movie. <laughs> that's what the movie is about. That the movie is, while it is about that, it is also a, a very dark comedy. Uh, and that is one of the things I like best, best about this movie. It's not like there are some moments that are laugh out loud funny, but for the most part, it is a comedy. It is disturbingly funny in certain ways, obviously in some of the ways that Carey Mulligan's character is able to get back at some of these Terrible, terrible human beings. Uh, they totally deserve it. Yeah, but it. don't you kind of want that to go a little bit like you? you she doesn't go all the way. No, because then it would be right. a horror film. So where the people deserve to die, but still the dark comedy. That's, That's true. That happens yeah. in dark comedies. All right. Yeah. This was actually my third thing, but since you took you brought up like the style of the movie, I will say this: that it's a revenge film, and who doesn't love a good revenge film? Right. Because right? yeah. you you want you root for the character. You want her to get all these guys back, to get everybody that has wronged her and her friend. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. I think you are immediately on her side and you're with her lockstep the whole way. I know I'm boiling it down to a revenge film. It's not just that, but it's that's a part of the movie that I like quite a bit. What's your number two? Number two would be Carrie Mulligan. I think she does a fantastic job in, in this role, both displaying kind of a comedic, uh, like a really sharp comedic edge and, and this like sly, carefully planning, clever woman, and also some real emotion for what she feels about the her friend that was lost to her. And she's able to deliver both this, like, I don't want to say villainous, but almost this femme fatale type role and this really emotional character all at once. And I think she does, she's great in everything, but I think she does a fantastic turn here in this film. Well, she drives the movie. And if her performance, this is my number two as well as her performance. And if she, if her performance is lacking from the, I think the movie's going to fail. I think right, she's yeah. a big part of the movie, even though there are moments where she's having fun with it. There are other moments where you can see the toll that it takes on her emotionally, where she is just getting by. It's not as easygoing as she makes it seem to be for other people looking in. She's oh, definitely yeah. a hurt soul. And, 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 for her to be able to go back and forth with that in terms of Mulligan's performance is a big reason why this movie works amongst other things as well. What's your number three? My number three would be Bo Burnham. Yeah. Ooh, we differ. Go ahead. Oh, we do? Okay. So Bo Burnham, I think, does a great job in this film um, as uh, Carrie Mulligan's uh, kind of love interest kind of character in this film, the one who pines after her. You know, I know him as like a stand-up comic, and I was really surprised to see him in this. You know, he is kind of like goofy, and he's like charming, but it really is a, a dramatic role in a way, and it, it's just a serious movie, even star comedy, and he's not like goofy or like, telling us stand up jokes and stuff like that. I think he does a really good job. My number three is the use of color in the movie. So within the frame and just also uh, the cinematography, the lighting, like you, you, especially everything's very colorful. There's a lot of colors within the frame when she's at her coffee shop, uh, her hair at the end, just everything is just, it's bright, it pops, it makes you take notice. Yes. And I think that, um, that it's almost telling a, a, the same story uh, that you're watching on screen, that the script is telling you, that the actors are performing. I think the use of the light, the use of lighting within the frame and in the cinematography is also telling you that same story. Uh, that's something that I really was struck by in the movie. And I thought if, if for somebody who enjoys the what goes into making movies, I think that's something that a lot of people might enjoy when they watch this movie. All the other things that we talked about, just the actual production of the film. Um, I'm always going to side with that. But this movie's a this movie's a. I don't know if this, would you say this movie's a tough watch? Because I don't think it's a tough watch. I know some people had a little tough times with it. But. No, I I think if this is a subject that triggers you, then it triggers you. And maybe that's something you don't want to you right. want to stay away that's from. That's true. But that's I think true. otherwise, if you're just reading the description going, oh, that sounds depressing. It really is. No, it's not. It really yeah. isn't the way it's presented. And I think it's definitely worth watching for both the production and the acting. Yeah. And 
it's a it's not a story that's done very often like this. You don't True. get a revenge film done this way very often. It's very it's it's very well done uh, and definitely recommend it. You're on our wait right now, so you might as well go check it out. Just click the link below. Mike, where can they find us if they want to know what we think about other movies? So we're Forgotten Cinema. We're a podcast. We're available wherever podcasts can be found. Check us out and keep on row eight for all of your movie selections. So I'm Mike Field. I'm Mike Butler. This has been Now Renting with Forgotten Cinema, brought to you by Row 8. Stop pointing.